Deputy Todd Moterson says he's not sure if it was instinct or divine intervention that prompted him to investigate a commotion about a quarter mile around the bend from this jungle road checkpoint. I heard help. And uh, so then I saw that there was somebody down in the water. And residents were right behind him. And I looked to the north here and I see the sheriff running down the street into the water. It was 5 p.m. on October 5th when floodwaters here were still at their highest. An older man walking through a deep water-filled ditch had hit a soft spot and sunk. The water was deep um, and he was just losing his strength trying to uh, stay above water. He said that he was at on the cusp of death. He said he'd swallowed water already. He didn't know how much longer he'd be able to keep hollering. I was able to come over on a little higher part here. You can see where it's washed away. And that's what he fell into, an elderly gentleman. And I was able to uh, reach over and pull him out. He was completely drenched in water. His boots were full. Deputy Moterson and residents who'd come there to help loaded the victim into a pickup truck to be taken for medical attention. I want to thank the, uh, you know, the, the residents, and, and I'm so thankful for the community. These guys basically saved his life. The takeaway from this frightening incident, even for local residents, is that in these waterlogged areas, patches of ground that used to be solid can now be compromised and become muddy holes like this one. So please step carefully. If you're wearing waders or high boots, that can quickly fill with water and it can actually add as a weight and just pull you down into the water and where you can't fight against it and you can't get out.